Hey guys, it's Mei Mei and my trusty sidekick. Oh, Vinny, it's him. And our pink sidekick. Hiya. <laughs> pink looks good with the buffalo check back there. Thanks. We might need to do what was suggested. Someone suggested we put like a word, something. Maybe it should be, hey, made it or something. You made it. <laughs> you, <laughs> you, made you made it. it. Okay, it can be that. Guys, we're going to do something fun. First, we're going to straighten my mat. What is, or straighten my camera. So um, let's do it with my camera. <laughs> I have time to deal with yours because you never get in here in time. Jacked up. Like Did you fix it? Nose. Did you fix it? No. You're not fixed. It looks way too high up. Okay. You're good right there. You look great. You look great. Are you not looking at yourself? I'm looking at myself on my side, which may be the delay. Probably is. You look great. Okay. So, today we're going to do something fun. Wow. Y'all have no idea. Like, I'm in here, I'm getting everything ready, everything's working, and then when I'm supposed to go live, something quits. Today our audio cut out, so we spent five minutes trying to figure out audio, so when I get here, I'm a little bit flustered, but here we go. Ready? Okay, check out this beautiful card. Look at that. It even made my camera go crazy. Look at the shimmer on that foil. Okay, you guys don't know this about me, but I have been a person who have really kind of avoided foil because I don't want to deal with it. I don't like the, I don't like having to have a separate machine and da, 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 so I've avoided it. But recently, Shannon and I were in a workshop. This would have been first of last year, I guess, at this point. So recently, we were in a workshop and they used some foil. And I was like, okay. I was like, Ugh, full. I was like, okay, let's try it. Well, we tried it and we both fell in love with it. Well, we didn't order it right away. We had we did something else. We got something else in. We were, oh, the albums. We went with albums. Yeah. <laughs> so we ordered albums, da, da 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 Well, then the other day we were on another, not a workshop this time, something else we were watching. And um, they used foil again. I'm like, we really need to bring that in. So I want to show you this. This is the easiest way to get this fancy, fancy shimmer. Look at that. To get this fancy, fancy shimmer. Isn't it gorgeous? I love it. Let me show you. Okay. You don't need no fancy tools. You just need glue. Just glue and what you've got in your stash. Now I'm going to be using, don't want to use this one. Let me show y'all. Okay. We got these um, 3D embossing folders and I told you we we're going to bring those in. So we got these 3D embossing folders and here's the ones we picked up for now. Okay. We've got more coming, but this one is called, I have to learn where the names are on these because I've never looked. Um, do you know? Surely there's a name. Hmm. Let me compare two. Okay, this one is called George Evans. <laughs> I think this is the designer. George Evans, Jessica Scott, and this one is Jessica Scott, so that's not the names. This one looks like Art Deco Shell. See how pretty that is? That's the one we learned the full technique on. This one I'm in love with. Looks like a sweater. Looks like cable knit. I love that one. This one looks like... um ceiling tile. Doesn't that remind you of an old ceiling tile? Yeah. And then this one is the one I showed you in the card. I don't know why I'm lifting that up like you can see. This one looks like palms and what is that one called? You should look on the back by the barcode. I don't see a name. That's that's strange. That's where it normally is. Do you see one? Here. I'll let Shana find it. Okay, so you can see the pattern on this one, right? And I just thought that was good. I know you're like, well, that's a beachy background. But honestly, it reminds me of Easter, too, because it's kind of palmy. Yeah? So that's why we put an Easter sentiment with it. But today, I want to show you, let's use a different one. Let's use, I think I want to, let's use, this one. I think I do. Is that, is it, no, I think I want this one because it's, here's why I want to use this one. This is the one we learned on. And it has a lot of texture. So I think I can show you really well. Now, what's the difference in a 3D embossing folder and a regular or an original embossing folder, or what they call a 2D? Can you see how thick this guy is for number one? It's super thick. And the other thing is these guys are really, really deep or really, really raised. And these are really, really deep. And you get a beautiful 3D effect. Now, as always, I'm behind the trends. I'm a slow one too. And I never jump on the bandwagon. I always have to be coerced. I have to wait, right? So check this out. Here's what they suggest you do, okay? They suggest, who's they? The people that teach about Sizzix 3D folders, right? They say, take your cardstock. Now, I want to tell you something. I'm using Brutus Monroe Alabaster, okay? 
I can actually Where is it? Hopefully it won't be a silly one. Flip to the back. Knitted. Oh, I'm so okay. Okay. Starfall. Okay, look. Here's what it is is it's a lot of languages. Yes. So Starfall knitted is the first line of all the li I don't know what I I'm gonna send a picture to Taylor so she knows. It's what our brain said. Yes, you can ask a question, sorry. What's the difference in a three D folder and an embossing folder? The depth of the of the it's so how press. High it sticks up. The depth of the press. Like you're gonna get you're gonna see like let me show you. I don't know if you can really tell on this one, but it's really deep. Like, let me see if I can like demonstrate. Watch this. Can you see that? It's like super deep in there and it's gorgeous. Just wait. Let me do one for you and you'll see. So here's what they suggest that you should miss the page when you're using these 3Ds to get a better um, impression. And I think also to keep your paper from tearing. They're very, I did do one earlier. I'll show you. I did one earlier that tore. Here it is. I did this one, and this is not with um, alabaster. This is with PA paper, and it tore. Where did it tear? Right here. Just that. I mean, not enough that I wouldn't use it. But look at the depth. Look at the. Oh my goodness! Just look at that. So beautiful. Look at the back. Look how deep that is. Isn't that gorgeous. Love it. Okay. Less mist. So I'm just using my little um, mini mister, and I'm just going to hold it up, and I'm not trying to soak the page. Oh, I'm going to need some more water in that shenanigan. She's close to the sink. She can do that while we do this. I'm not trying to soak the page. I'm just misting it now. All of you experts, I cannot believe how many people already used the Gemini and had so many tips and tricks for me. But here's what I'm going to tell you. I may use mine different than you do. And if I do, don't worry. Just use what you're used to, okay? I tried doing the plate that they told me to do with this. We tried using, it was the plastic the clear plate it was the magnet and then this and then it was the plastic shim i tried that and it wouldn't feed through it just kept stopping so here's what i'm doing don't do this if you don't feel comfortable let me do it so you ain't gonna stress about it i'm not putting a lid on it this is what i'm putting in my embossing machine i've got my plastic what do they call this uh, uh, cutting the clear cutting plate clear cutting plate the magnet plate my 3d embossing folder and shannon is going to feed that through the gemini we have the gemini off right here and by the way, a lot of you, a lot of you guys suggested we put it on a um, Lazy Susan to spin it. We don't have it set up that way. We have it set up where when I do the craft room tour, you'll see it just feeds right through on my desk, and I can just grab, I can feed it from the front, grab it from the back. What do y'all see this? Oh my goodness, it's gorgeous, gorgeous. Look at that. Isn't that stunning? And if you're wondering if the water warps it, I, you use so little. And it's just gorgeous. Isn't that beautiful? Let's do, let's go ahead and get all our embossing done. I want to do a black one because I want to show you the foil on Which two one? different. I'll put my hands on. Yeah, see, you want to feel it, don't you? That's cool. Gold. Wow. I mean, uh, let's use this one. That is substantial. Isn't it neat? Yeah. I think it's cool. Let's use the, um, you want to do it? We can do this. I don't think that'll look good on black. No, let's do the one, the palm one, this one with the black. Okay. So, because I want y'all to see this pattern. Can y'all see how thick that is? It's gorgeous, isn't it? Go with this. I'm going to miss this one. When you look at the back side of it, that's a substantial I really missed it, I did. depth that it gives you. Shannon's going to feed cool. this in. It's so pretty, y'all. So pretty. Again, this is not new. A lot of people are watching like, I've been doing this for 20 years. Not 20 years. These haven't been out 20 years. They've been out a while, but y'all know me. If anybody's going to be late to the game, it's me. Behind. But I'm real picky about what I, I like to add stuff I know I'll use. This is something I'm really enjoying. And also, this doesn't warp any plates, so doing it this way. Look at that. Are you kidding me? Look at that. It's just stunning. Yeah. Now, I got this one a little too wet, so don't rub, don't rub, rub it, but look at that one. What does wet mean? I missed it. Did you see that I'm misting it? No, I wasn't paying attention. I was reading the comments. Where's he? Is he in the room with us? I don't think so. It keeps your paper from tearing so much. It, it gives like, it. It gives the fibers a little bit more give, so they can go super deep like that. Yeah. It's almost like molding it. That's just bad to the bone. I'm just telling y'all. You're so impressed. I love that. I really am. I, I mean, love that. I'm not trying to be. This one's got to dry a minute. Weirdo. I might have done that one too much. I don't know. Yeah, fan that one because I might have done that one too much. Okay, I'm gonna get out my little working mat. I love this little Hi. guy. I'm fanning you with leaves. Vince, I found a fan. <laughs> You're fanning me with oh, all these. 
Now, this is not going to be for everyone, but this is what I found works for me, okay? The foil comes in three colors. Remember, I'm doing this my way, okay? This won't be for everyone. For and you probably are going to say, that's not how they say to do it. It's not exactly. They do other things. But anyway, here's the foils that we have in three colors. We have rose gold, gold, and silver. And I'm going to show you all three of them in use on this one piece. Now, this is what I used earlier because you're going to ask this question too. These, oh, don't show them. Well, I'm going to show you. I'm trying, I'm testing out some techniques to bring to you guys so you can see those little flowers. I'm testing out some techniques. Okay. Now, I'm going to make an assumption. You can use these embossing folders with any machine. Right? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You'll just have to use a different um, sandwich. Okay. They know what that means. You're like, you get a sandwich with your embossing folder? All right, say, I'm in. <laughs> we already ate. We already ate. I'm just supposed to know. So you can use these until the, until the foil is gone. And I'm going to show you that, okay? So I'm not going to use these this time. I want to show you fresh sheets. I pulled fresh sheets so you can see it from the fresh get-go. All right, so here's what I'm doing. This is what I love about it, okay? I'm going to put Art Glitter Glue on this block. If you, want, if you don't want to put it on your block, you can put it on a silicone, piece of silicone. You can put it on your waffle flower mat. I think Sizzix has a new uh, silicone mat, don't they? You could pick up, let me tell you something, you could pick up a silicone spatula and use that to put your glue on. So I'm putting some glue out here, okay? Then I'm using a pad that's only going to be for this that I will wash in between, okay? Because it's going to get gluey. And I'm going to smash this in here like this. And I'm going to do this so you can see it like in the three colors. So I'm going to rub this on the page. Now, the heavier you go, the heavier your foil. And I'm going to go heavy because I want you to see it. So you might even see some like splotchy places, but I want y'all to see it. That might have been too heavy. All right, so I'm going to rub that on. I'm going to sit that down. I'm put, I just put that on a little block. Let's do the gold first. So then I'm going to put my gold now. Now I want to show you this. You're going to rub this on. See how it's, see where the glue is. You can see that it's grabbing where the glue is and it's not grabbing. Then you're going to rub it. Now, don't rub so hard that you flatten out your design, which that's hard to do, so don't worry. You're, not, you're probably not going to do that. I even took my impressable and slid over it to get the high points. This is not going to get into the, de the depths, but you can use it for your high points. And I wanted to use this, but it won't slide. This is a clean one, and I wanted to do that, but it won't slide. So we'll just let that go. We'll do it this way. Now, look. It's so pretty. Look, look, look. Okay, look. Ah, oh, do you love it? Look, hold on. There it comes. I, I got to get the shine. Cool. Isn't it stunning? Can you use other foils or just theirs? Okay. This foil is formulated to work this way. There are other foils. I have not researched all of them. I'm sure other people have this. But the reason I fell in love with it is because I was like, this makes sense to me. Okay. I love this foil. Perfect for me. All right. So I'm going to go right here and I'm going to do some more. Now, I don't have as much glue this time, so let's see how it goes. I have less glue. And we're going to do silver here, okay? So I'm going to come down like this. I'm going to rub this on. And what I love is I don't have to have a special glue. I don't have to have a special machine. I don't have to have anything. I just do this. Oh, it's quick. It's quick, to, yeah. It's so quick. And I also love, now look, I feel like I have glue here, but it didn't go there. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to go back over to make sure I just didn't miss it rubbing on it okay so since i missed it watch put a little glue go back look now it's there i just love this not having to do i'm even just gonna i'm going it right over some right over some of it i love not having to have a special machine or anything like that look how pretty all right let's do the under let's do the rose gold one so gorgeous Then I'm going to oh, pat this in. And here's what I'm discovering. You will get a feel for this. You'll learn how to do it. See how I'm patting this one and not rubbing it? Maybe this is a better technique. You'll find the one that works for you when you play with it. But what I love is you just pick up these folds and you can do it. You don't. You can do this from what you have in your stash with your own embossing folders. This one is the rose gold. And I'm just going to rub it and I'm going to put my pressable on it. I think you get a better, or just from looking. The impressible works. I think the impressible does it better. What the impressible does is it gives it, it's a harder press. It get it gets those tips. Well, yeah, because it's an even surface. Mm -hmm. 
and it slides over the full where that is oh it's so pretty all right so you can see all three colors here let's go let's see if we can play with the light look at it so pretty so gorgeous look at that rose gold then to the silver then to the gold oh my goodness can you love this i love it no um have you tried it with the fairly art glue oh we were going to you want to yeah i think it works with like any we said we were going to try it. We just got, yeah. we just were happy to, can, can you do me a favor? We wanted and, to eat lunch to tell you. <laughs> we wanted to go, well, maybe I messed up the whole live show. Okay. We had to, we had to watch this. Right. Can you wash that one out? Put a little soap on it for sure. I'm going to get a clean one real quick and use the barely art so we're not contaminating each other. So we know we're getting a, a good, a good test. Now I've never tried it with the barely art because even in my class, I use my art glitter glue. I do not know, but we'll see. All right, so I'm going to clean this glue off of this block. That's fun. That's satisfying. Is it coming off? Yeah, like in a sheet. Oh, yeah. Yeah, if you guys like to peel, you're going to love that one. Okay. <laughs> that was fun. All right. Uh, probably the impressibles are available in our store at mymanmanity.com. Okay. Now then... Barely art. Barely art. It's all right. They can handle the loud. So we're trying we're trying both glue. Did the block get both. We tried art Did glitter glue Did first. And now we're fixing to try the barely art. And I hope to be getting some barely art before too much longer. I think so. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, we're yeah, on yeah. a waiting list. Okay. All right. The black. Oh, I just love the black like it is. It's so pretty. Okay, clean pad. Barely art, so nothing's contaminated. We'll see the two from each other, okay? And this will be cool because doing it on black, I should be able to see where my glue's going. And I'm still going to do the three colors. I want you to see all three colors on white and on black. That's cool, being able to see it. Yeah. So what we do first on the other one? Gold? Gold. Yep, gold. Okay. Hey, Gigi. Oh, good job. She's so organized. Uh -uh. Try. You like to be organized. I like to try to be organized. Ooh, okay. Now, let me show you. There's a little bit of glue that didn't catch. It did a lot, but you don't have to stress about that because this is what you do. This is what they showed us in the class. You just go right back. I think it's because I didn't rub it with my finger. I just used the impressible and the impressible if you're going to use your impressible it's only going to hit the top it's not going to get down in it mm -hmm. so if you do super this yeah it's only going to hit those super high points okay look oh my word mm -mm. gosh okay i see a little glue in here i'm going to try to get my finger in there remember these 3d folders are deep so beautiful and any glue that shows that is, um, is there's matte? Non toxic dries clear. Is barely art matte? I don't remember. Art glitter glue is matte, so you, you may want to use art glitter glue. I don't know. Now I'm doing a thin coat. I want to see what it does with a super thin coat here. Okay, let's go to silver. Don't go quick because I'm using a thin coat. That was a really thin coat. I did not re reapply glue onto my block. Oh, wow. Wow, look at that. I mean, this is my kind of crafting. This is not messy. There's nothing on my hands. I can walk away from here and go cook dinner. With, you know, just wash my hands and cook dinner. I don't have to like close everything up. I have my glue, but you know what I'm saying? Like, it's yeah. so cool. It's easy crafting. I love it. All right. I'm going to need a little more glue, but I think what I want to do is a little less than I did the first time. Terry, I don't know because I don't use spray adhesives. I'm not a fan of that in the air. I'm not a fan of breathing in that. I don't, I've never been. If you, if you follow me for any length of time, you know, even with my Cricut mats, I'm not going to restick them with um, spray adhesive because it, I'm not a fan of it. I, I I had to use it when I worked at the craft store years ago, and I had, like, it gave me a bad experience. Like, I didn't enjoy it, and so now that I don't have to use it, I just never use it. So, 
you guys ask me about spray stuff all the time and I just don't have it in my I don't have it to try and it, I don't it's one I don't I never say never but I don't think I'm gonna be bringing that in because I but they didn't use spray uh -uh, she used well, well I think she used Tombow no what? yeah she used our, what did I no she used, used their, their she one. she used their adhesive boy I went really thin on that one but look this is what she did too she just would keep going back over it and going back over it just like that that needs more glue Oh, that rose gold on that black, though, look at that. That is, it's not getting it. There it is. Look at that. That is stunning. Oh, love it. <laughs> so pretty. Look at that. I love it. I love it. So, a fun, new-to-me project works with your AGG or Art Glitter Glue. Also works with your um, Barely Art. They told me, because I wouldn't um, I wouldn't buy any of them until I talked to them, and they said that it would work with any glue. That's what they told me. Remember that? Because I, I asked them, well, this work, what glues do I have to use? I yeah. said any glue. Okay, so there's these two. All right, and I'm going to go back and show you this. I just love it in the card. Now, there's something else I wanted to try. Should we take this off and do it on here? You have one over there you stamp. Yeah, the G is her maiden name. It's not a middle name. You scare me. But the G, what G? There's a G. Yeah, the punch messed up on the top corner. No biggie. I want to try this. I want to try it while I go. So, I don't think I need my little surface thing. Okay, let's put some more glue on. I want to try. Look, I don't know if this is going to work. So, if it don't, it don't. That's a good question. Michelle asked, can you put the foil on the cardstock before embossing? Would that work? Probably, but you would probably get like a full, you know, it wouldn't be the, it'd, probably, it'd go down into all the creases and crevices. So I inked the edges like I was distressing it, but I, I didn't ink the edges. I used glue because I so think you, this will be pretty. You think the machine would push the foil down into even the creases? It will. I mean, we that's what it will do. And that's okay if you want full, full, full gold or full color. Look at that. I love this. You just like playing, don't I you? I love to play. <laughs> Look at this. Look at that. Just putting it around the edge. You see what I'm doing? I'm just taking this glue. Just inking these edges. I'm not inking. I'm gluing the edges. And then foiling. So I guess it can work with any glue because most of the Genovese use just a glue stick. They, they told us any glue. That's what Sizzix, this was a Sizzix class, wasn't it? Yeah. They told us that, yeah. Y'all, that's stunning. To make your, y'all gonna see this. Y'all gonna see me doing this. This on a wedding card, on your Easter cards. It's so pretty. I need more glue. And this is still barely art. I haven't switched back over to art glitter glue. All right, let's see if I can do the whole side at one time. Because I have been doing it. A little and then a little. I have another idea that I'm working on to bring y'all with this that I think will work, but I don't want to say until I don't want to tell you until I know. Because it will, I know that it will work, but you have to do a lot of cleaning. And I'm not a big fan of cleaning, so I just love how this looks. Let that light hit it. That top one doesn't want to reflect. There it goes. Yeah, I like that. Isn't it gorgeous? And then if you put this on here. Oh, it's too big, but look. And have that with the black behind it, and you had the double full. Oh, love it. Love it. All right. I showed y'all 3D fulls. Almost 130. 3D um, embossing folders. We did the full. And again, like I said, let me show you what we have in store. There'll be more coming because I'm loving it. So there'll be more. These are the three colors we have right now. Plus the embossing folders we brought in were, oh, now I can tell you all the names. Let me tell you the name of this one. This one is called Tropical Leaves. So that one we did is Tropical Leaves. This one is called, I don't have its packaging. Starfall. 
Star, no, no, no. Oh, I must have that back in there. Here it is. This one is called Shells. This one. This one is Deep Star, or Starfall. And this one is Knitted. Y'all, Knitted is so cute. Okay, we're going to run Knitted through because we're dying to see it. I'm not going to foil it. I don't think you won't foil on Knit. I could be wrong. I don't know. You wear jewelry on your sweaters. Yeah. <laughs> Shannon's dying to see this one. Let me see. Do we have... You know what we need is like a like a white. pastel. Why don't do? Why don't do? Okay, so let's just see how this embosses because I want to look at that. <gasps> look at that texture. Wait till we see this one. Wait till they get a load of me. <laughs> Wait till they get a load of this. I'm sorry. All right. Too excited. Full on the Easter cards. So today we were looking at some foil stuff. Know that you know the Easter eggs that they foil, the little chocolate Easter eggs that come with the foil around, and wouldn't that be a cute Easter card? And you could foil your own little eggs. How many sheets in a pack? Do we know? I'm sure we do. Uh, ten. It says X ten, but I don't think it's ten. I don't think it's ten. We may need to count. Surely this will say. I figured that <gasps> X10 is times 10. Look at this. Look at this. That's so cool. I love that. Let me see that for a second. I'm going to trash them. Can I get that right back in its spot? Probably not. Maybe I did. Uh, I don't think I can. I want to try putting that through the way they say it one more time and just see if it was that other one because I want to see that a little tighter. All right, yeah, I'm going to try. Ten pack. It's a 10 pack of foil. 10 per package. It won't fit through the way they said. Thank you. It won't fit through with that one. Remember how she did this, how she reversed and reversed? I'm going to try to reverse on top of it and do it twice. I can't. I went too far. I went too far. Anyway, this is beautiful. That sweater pattern. Sweater with it. And you know what? This is with PA. With Brutus, it'll probably be even deeper. You know? Yeah. That's a good idea, too. Mel Strange said, would that tack of glue that we use on the cricket mats work? What a good idea. You know, the yeah, zig, zig two way, zig two way. Yeah. Surely it would. And the other thing about the thing about zig two way is you could put it down, let it sit for a second. It never dries. Doesn't it have like a roller? It's a um, like a marker. Yes, yeah, it? like a marker. Here, we'll try it. I think mine's right here, or is it in our Cricut Joy stuff? I don't know. Here it is. Here she is. Let's try it. I like trying things, don't y'all? Experiment. I like experimenting. Experiment. I like experimenting. Don't get it on your mat. True. Yeah, you won't never get it off there. Oh, that's that's a lot. I went too heavy right there. Let me go lighter right here. I pressed in too deep because I don't want it to go all the way in. I'm gonna let that sit for a second. Oh, I bet PVA glue is a. It takes too long to dry. That's true. That might be true. That. Zig two way also. No, it's already fading in color. Let's just see. Let's try it super quick. Let's just see. Okay, it was a little bit wet yet. Some of it stuck, but some of it didn't. So let's let it dry a second. I don't think Aileen's glue would work. It's any tacky glue is not going to work. It'll take too, not tacky. Yeah, like no craft glue is what I'm trying to say. Not tacky glue. Craft glue is going to take too long to dry. Let's try it now. I'm trying to get a lot of the foil. Where I have a lot of foil left over. Oh, yeah. That works really well. Look at that. That works good. So it didn't work after it dried. Yeah, you got to let this one sit a second, which is fine. That gives you time to do something else. You know, work on some other part. I'm going to do this where I have a lot of foil right here. Oh, that looks nice. Good job. 
Good call. Now we have a second use for that glue. Y'all will be like, a second use? I don't use it for anything but resticking my Cricut mats. That's all I use it for. But now we have a second use for it. Now, the only issue we might have is if you don't get it all covered well, two-way glue doesn't dry. It, I mean, it dries, but it's never not tacky. So you're going to have to make sure you get it covered well or your card will stay tacky. You know, you're going to have to cover all of the glue, if that makes sense. Does it make sense? Yeah, because, oh, I don't know about that, y'all. Still sticky. Still feels a little tacky. Might not work. Still feels a little tacky. I would say try it, but you're going to have to let it dry and then see if it's tacky. It's beautiful. That foil is something else. That foil. Foil. Can I put it on my fingernail? I'm not doing it. I love these nails too much. She did such a good job. I'm not trying. Yeah, I love y'all. I'm not trying that. On your nails today. Thank y'all. I have a new nail tech and I just love them. And she loves to do art. Look at that little heart. Shannon, you want to show yours? Shannon got hers done. Look, did y'all see my finger shaking? Like, oh. Look. And here's what. Oh, I don't want to help you. There we go. Look right here. See this one? It's so funny because Shannon said, um, she doesn't usually, this is like a lot of art for Shannon. I went wild. She went wild. And she came in and she said, I keep trying to flick that thing off my finger. You look down and you see something black and it's like, oh, never mind. <laughs> That's funny. Did you tell them why? If it was a. Of course you would ask that because you're a boy. Y'all know what he asked. He's a boy. Let's head into the after show where we can talk about anything we want to. And more importantly. Terrence asked, will the heat gun dry it? It, well, it, it will, but or if you're familiar with Zig Two-Way, the thing is, it's a dual action glue. So what happens is, if you put it on and then you stick something to it, it's called a wet bond, which means it's permanent. It'll dry and be permanent. But if you put it down and let it dry, um, it will like be sticky for you. It's a removable, temporary. So that's the issue with, I think, with this one, is it's never going to actually dry you can see how that's still sticking to my hand get my thumb up so you'll see that it's see because it's never going to actually dry because it's a two-way glue if that makes sense so i don't know that it's the best option it worked but i don't know it's the best option shannon you are a wild and crazy woman heidi said i am <laughs> all right guys let's head to the crafter after show where the we can draw the 18 winners for the 300,000 subscriber giveaway, 18 winners, 18 winners and talk to you about, the farm today. <laughs> and talk to you about my 2022 plans. To. So link is right here in the chat. Um, it's in the description. If you're watching later, head over and see if you won and uh, we'll see you there in a few minutes. I'm going to need just a second because I got to set up to do the drawing, but I'll see you there in just a second. Bye guys.